20% of the healthcare volume in Sweden depends on unhealthy lifestyle habits. Lack of physical exercise, unhealthy diet, smoking, and alcohol abuse is the main causes for many medical conditions. eHealth Innovation Center at Luleå University of Technology has, in cooperation with County Council of Norrbotten, developed the prescribed healthcare method. It aims to prevent lifestyle-related diseases and improve health and life quality for people with these diagnoses. Research has proved that smoking cessation, 30 minutes daily exercise, and normal body weight reduce the risk of many lifestyle-related diseases by 50%. For patients who already suffer from any of these diseases, it is often possible to reduce or stop medication. Good results have been achieved through lifestyle groups, but it is very work time intensive. Together with researchers at eHealth Innovation Center, we have therefore developed a new method where the patients, through the use of technology, become more actively involved themselves. The method is evaluated through a randomized field trial by the Renewing Health Project at four healthcare centers in the county of Norrbotten. At group meetings, the patients are informed about the importance of a healthy lifestyle and the prescribed healthcare method. The participants are trained to use the equipment. The step counter and pulse watch are used to stimulate physical exercise with enough quality. Blood pressure meter, PK meter, thumb ECG, blood glucose meter are used to inform how the lifestyle changes affect the health and if the medical treatment has to be revised. Individual health development programs are developed together with the patients based on personal interests and needs. After pole walking instruction, the patients are encouraged to make daily walking exercises together with others or by themselves. Patients interested about other activities are advised who to contact. It encourages me to view how much my blood pressure has improved after I began with the daily exercise walks. I'm much more motivated now when I can see that my effort really pays off. But most important is that I feel more energetic and won't worry as much as before about my chronic diagnosis. Hello Lars, I can see that you made your daily walking exercises really well. Yes, I feel much better now when I exercise every day. I assume that you've noticed by yourself that your blood pressure has improved significantly. I therefore reduced your medication. It'll hopefully reduce your problems with the adverse reaction that you complained about the last time. Would you like to continue reporting exercise walks and blood pressure? Or shall we make adjustments to your health activity plan? I have begun with water gymnastics two times a week. I walk to the bathhouse, the reporting of exercise walk can therefore remain. But please add my water gymnastic exercises. Okay, does it suit you if we make the next follow-up two months from today? I would prefer video meeting next time as well. This is a really convenient way of working together with the patients and their health issues. It saves time, both for me and them. They can do it from home if they have, for instance, a hard time getting to group meetings. The county of Norrbotten is a large and low populated region. It is important for us to develop methods and utilize technology that stimulates citizens to improve their health and as far as possible prevent diseases. We have a relatively high concentration of internet connected computers in Sweden. 91% of the citizens have access to internet at home. That makes this kind of method suitable. Now we are looking forward to the results of the field trial evaluation. It will be available at the end of 2012. EIC is financed by the University in cooperation with County Council of Norrbotten, municipalities of Luleå, Boden and Piteå. 750 patients are engaged in the field trial. They have type 2 diabetes and CBD diagnosis. The trials are performed at the healthcare centers Sanden, Björknäs, Grytnäs, and Overtorneo. Similar field trials are performed in nine European countries. 7,900 patients are engaged. <laughs>